Sonia McLomber, we've got the Vixens on Sunday, second v third. It should be an amazing contest. Yeah, the Vixens are quite similar to us in how they play. So with, with them, it's always a tough battle and a close game. So yeah, it's definitely going to be a big one. What do our defenders have to do to nullify their shooting attack? Oh yeah, they're sh well they shoot. You know, we've got to give it to them. Their shooters are good. They've got a good rotation. I think Teague and Cordwell is really quick and nippy, so we've got to slow her down. And then obviously with Bailey and Cox in the back end, um, they've got the height advantage as well, and they're quite strong. So for us, it's kind of just getting off the body, working and keep doing what we've been doing against all the other teams, and just working together. The uh, New South Wales Swifts have uh, retained the Sergeant McInnes Cup for four seasons in a row now. What would it mean to hold on to it for the fifth year? <laughs> We're like, does five mean anything? <laughs> We're like, we keep it for five years, five in a row, five in a row. So yeah, for us, you know, we're always going out there to win anyways and I'm bringing the cup home and in this first leg, it's going to be important as well. Yourself, you've moved into goal defence this season. You're having an amazing season yourself. You must be happy with your own form. Yeah, I love it out there. I think, you know, originally for the for England team, I played goal defence, you know, with Jeeva at the back of me. And I love that position. I think coming to the Swiss, I've been playing a lot of goalkeeper. So getting a, getting a run out there and getting the lungs going and the feet moving again, it's, it's something getting used to. But I'm enjoying it. I love it out there. As a defender, uh, Sarah Wall, we have to touch on Sarah, has come into the team the past two weeks. Is coming in for the rest of the season. Your thoughts on her performances? Oh, well, Sarah's she's a classy player, and you can see it. And as soon as she came into the team, she fitted in straight away. Um, she's an experienced ANZ um, Championship player with the Vixens, and I think another team. <laughs> Can't remember which one that was, but yeah. So she's experienced, and you see it in her gameplay when she talks to the team, and she shares her ideas. You know, we'll respect what she has to say because she's coming from a knowledgeable place. You've been, you've played in front of some vocal Vixens crowds down there in Melbourne. We've got a full house this Sunday. Um, what do you what do you want from the fans this weekend? to get behind us, sh sh um, shout loudly, cheer for us, you know, get into it and just make sure that red zone is packed and everybody's on a positive vibe. Uh, last year in round 12 down at High Sense Arena, you were the MVP. Was it about the Vixens that just brings out these amazing performances? Oh, I don't know. I like playing against them. They play similar to us. And, you know, when I look down the court, I see my mate at the other end doing her stuff. So it's like, OK, got to step it up. If she can do it, we can do it. So I think it's that mentality. And, you know, with them last year, like you said, we had to win by nine goals and everyone kind of dug deep and pushed out. So for me, it was like, do my job, do my job. So I enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing against the Vixens.